I deplore the situation, as a result of which some 700 ex-servicemen and federal employees who are unemployed are unable to collect the unemployment compensation which is due them. This is a shocking situation, but the fall is not in the Senate, it's in the House. I've been working on it, and I've communicated by telephone and telegraph with Senator Lister Hill, who's the chairman of the conferees that are meeting, Senate and House are meeting on this question, and he replies to me as follows, and I'll read you his reply. He hastens to assure you that our Senate conferees on the Supplemental Appropriation Bill are doing all we can to speed the final enactment of the measure. The difficulty has been that the House conferees have adamantly refused to consider any Senate amendment, but I shall do everything I can to expedite consideration and action on the bill which contains the funds that are needed to play the unemployment compensation. I might say that this bill also contains my amendment which will ensure the two million four hundred thousand dollars for the educational people who are in the impacted areas and so i urge those who are concerned to communicate with their representative of the house and the veterans might well enlist the services of the american legion and the veterans of foreign wars to see that their house representative acts on this matter the senate has done everything that it can and will continue to do everything it can but as senator hill assures me the fault is in the house